Welcome to Swayam online portal and the MOOC course is on urban local governance. In today's video, we will be discussing on the role and function of the district collector. We will also look into the importance and significance of the district collector in urban local governance. What is a district? A district is just nothing but a territorial geographical aspect or unit according to the Oxford Dictionary. The district is not mentioned in the constitution until it was only mentioned very small function like in the article 233 and the role came as a district judge. So, its significance was found only as a district in the article 233, but according to 73rd and the 74th amendment act, it was realized that the district role is more prominent than the role of the state. So, the prominence of the district came under the article uh, 233 but also at the same time the article or the 73rd and the 74th amendment act of 1992 significantly mentions the role of the district. So, we know that the district is very important as a unit and also a unit of the state and the geographical unit of a state, a territorial unit of the state and it is significant because of its revenue and also law and administration. So, when we talk about the district collector, the role of the district collector is significant as far as administration is concerned. Now, if you take uh, the chief minister as the political head of the whole state and you see that the secretariat with the chief secretary as the administrative head of the whole state. So, the role of the district collector is prominent as far as that particular district is concerned. So, historically if you see the role of the district collector it came as a prefect according to the French administration and the role was for revenue collection and also for administrative function. So, it was significantly important to have the district collector play an important role as far as administration is concerned. And must you say as far as public administration is concerned, the role of the district collector is very important and very prominent. So, the district collector can also be known as a district magistrate or the deputy commissioner and also as far as the governance is concerned, he plays a very important role in the maintenance of law and order in any particular district. In the context of urban development, when we see it plays a very important and significant role, especially in the urban areas, because it is not only one function, but many functions. Now, if you see, uh, study the role of the district collector, it is one of the most powerful positions in the Indian democratic system. Democracy you know is by the people, for the people and of the people. Although the district collector is not a representative of the people, but also he is a selected member through vigorous selection process. The district collector gets experience first as an additional district collector or assistant district collector and then finally he works as a district collector for that particular unit or a district. Hence, the role of the district collector is very influential as far as the development programs are concerned. Now, we will just uh, look into a little about the district collector's role. First of all, the role of the district collector as a planning and implementation of an urban development scheme. Now, the district collector is responsible for the planning and implementation of various urban development schemes in this district. Now, if you see the metro, the roadways, the transport, 
and any kind of uh, system which is development or a project which is pertaining to development, then the role of the district collector becomes significant. We can see that uh, for the metro rails or the local rails or the transport system, the role of the district collector becomes very important because he has to maintain the safety and security of the people. Not only really the safety and security, but also despite having a partnership with the private organization, the role of the district collector is to maintain and safeguard the needs of the people. So they have to work closely with all the stakeholders and also with the partners, even if it is privatized. And they have to work with the local bodies, especially the councillors or the ward councillors, to uh, see that the work is done efficiently with the help of the local community. And they have to allocate the resources accordingly. We also see the role of the district collector as far as the infrastructure development is concerned. The district collector oversees the development of infrastructure in urban areas as I already mentioned uh, as far as the roads are concerned or the bridges are concerned or the water supply is concerned, the sewage is concerned or the sanitation facilities is concerned. Say for instance there was a flood in the city. And then immediately the role of the district collector becomes very important because he has to make the people safe. And how do we do it? He has to see that the water logging is not there. So he has to release the drains and also he has to allot people so that the people and the community are safe. So the role of the district collector becomes very important as far as infrastructure development is concerned because we see, for example, in few of the cities, the wirings are uh, along the roadways. And if a uh, drainage is broken, then the whole road system has to be detoured. So again, the role of the district collector is to see that the safety of the people, the safety of the transport is maintained. So he has to work with all the smaller units and if you see, he has to work with all the departments of the state so that they are in tandem and they work in correlation with the development project. The role of the district collector also uh, is important as far as the public-private partnership is concerned. The district collector plays an important and crucial role as far as privatization is concerned because although private companies can do an efficient job, but we must remember that the district collector is for the public needs, to serve the needs of the public. And so the role of the district collector becomes very important in facilitating the needs of the community and also collate with the private partnership and also be responsible for whatever the consequence of the development project is. So as far as the urban development is concerned, it's not easy. We see that it starts from the planning as far as development is concerned and also strategizing and also community safety concern and the infrastructure development is concerned or a private partnership is concerned. So the MOU sign will also take initiatives and accountability of the consequences and the outcome of the uh, project or whatever project has been undertaken. A good example with the metro project, it has to be purposeful, it has to reach the length and breadth of the city and also without disturbing the traffic. Traffic congestion could be a major concern and the district collector might not think it be responsible, but it becomes a responsibility since if there is any kind of a problem or issues pertaining detours or if it could go to reflect the image of the government. Also, the most important thing is encouraging citizen participation. Encouraging citizen participation becomes the fourth important role of the district collector. How do we say that the citizen participation is important? Now, when we are talking about engaged governance, then when we are talking about a system 
which is going to work in collaboration with the stakeholders. We see that the citizens are also stakeholders. So, the role of the district collector is not to just sit in the ivory tower and think of a planning or strategizing formula, but also work at the grassroots level with the community, get the community involved in working with the project. So, if you see uh, you most of the projects there should be community participation, citizen participation. Citizens should be aware of what is going to happen. There should be constant meetings with the citizens. As far as uh, Chennai is concerned, the solid waste management project was done very efficiently with the help of citizen participation. How did it happen? They went to every streets of the city and got representatives of every apartment, every house, even if it is an independent house and ask them to participate in a workshop to show how solid waste management occurs and how it can be promoted. And it was realized that many people were started practicing home gardening, gardening within their premises and also made use of the solid waste products. So, this was one efficient way of handling uh, how to uh, manage the waste. Also, we see that uh, traffic management also was uh, considered with the help of the district collector. How was it possible? With representation. They got the NSS, the NCC involved from various institutions, got community people to participate to help reduce congestion. And also, even if it is narrow, it was possible with the citizens' help and support, the district collector could manage urban programs and uh, advocacy with very efficient manner. We also saw how the COVID was dealt as far as the district collector's role is concerned. Creating awareness amongst the citizen was an important aspect and through the citizen, once the citizens are having the trust on the government, they could move sweetly and very smartly so that uh, the program was very successful. Finally, we see that one important role of the district collectors ensuring environmental sustainability. And sustainability is very important because we see that there is no control as far as sustainability is concerned. If you see water, water recession happens, there is stress of water everywhere in cities, urban areas because we see that many buildings are coming up and the buildings are just not three or four storied, but it is many storied, multi storied buildings. Then we are having a lot of malls coming up. How do they manage water system, the drainage system, the sewage system? It is a daunting task for the district collector. It is not very easy. The district collector should ensure that the environment is pollution free and that is also a daunting task. And if you say there is an industry, then even difficult. If you see in the district of Ranipet, it has been very difficult and very challenging for the district collector to maintain the environmental situation because of its increasing industries there. So, the effluence is going to cause uh, some kind of pollution and that needs to be curtailed. So, it was important that they create awareness and also take measures, health and safety measures so that constant uh, inspections could help reduce effluence and also maintain the pollution level in that particular area. So, if you see major cities are having problems of pollution and ensuring environmental sustainability is a uh, demanding and also an in thing in every city. So, the role of the district collector as far as urbanization is concerned becomes very important because they have to work with all the departments and to ensure that health and safety measures are maintained and also there is regulations as far as pollution is concerned and also they have to see that the water level is maintained. If you see most of the cities have problems of water because 
what the ground water level cannot be receding and it is receding. So, it was important to maintain the lakes, ponds and also maybe perhaps create ponds, artificial ponds. And what about uh, the marshlands? Conserving the marshlands was very important. If you see in Palikarne in Chennai, it has been uh, maintained so that it works like a sponge to absorb water and also maintain the groundwater level. So, it is important to see that the water levels are maintained in every city. If you see even in West Bengal, the Sundarbans are the marshlands which is beautifully maintained. It in fact has become a tourist spot and also uh, maintained as eco-friendly tourist spot which is very essential because people are aware of how well they are maintaining the wetlands because wetlands become an important source of water for every city and urban areas is dependent on such resources, natural resources. So, maintaining the water levels is a concern and if you see that despite having the sea near Chennai, it has become very difficult to maintain the groundwater level because of the increasing number of bores. And so, the ponds, the lakes, the natural lakes will have to be maintained. So, water uh, harvesting has been started. Rainwater harvesting was made very important and then it was realized that it was actually increasing the groundwater level and saving water to a certain extent. Also, you need to understand that being a very hot place, India, it is also realized to make use of clean energy. And the role of the district collector even becomes more important as far as environmental conservation is concerned. So, solar energy is one of the most important aspect which needs to be understood and studied. And the role of the district collector as far as environmental sustainability is concerned is pertinent. So, it is very crucial to see that the role of the district collector is not only to maintain the urban areas safe and sound, but also environmentally sustainable, but also to use clean energy and it also reflects that it has to uh, look into the population because we see that a lot of population migrants are coming to the city and the role of the district collector is to also keep track of the law and order with the increasing number of migrants. If you take a place like Delhi, it is very challenging to be the district collector because you see that there are a lot of migrants, not only uh, from within India, from also from the neighboring countries and also maintaining the law and order, maintaining the traffic and since it is being landlocked, it is also important to have the pollution rate maintained and being the capital city, it has to be very uh, effluent free and also it should be clean and also the place has to be well maintained so that good governance can happen from the center. We also see that the district collector in urban development have few functions. We saw that planning implementation of the projects is an important aspect it is important to have connectivity. Now, we have the concept of the smart city which is coming, the digital India which is very important at this point of time, especially in urban development. When you land in a city, it should have its own connectivity and that is very significant. It reflects very good about that city. So, the role of the district collector again becomes significant because how to plan for connectivity, smart connectivity. They can also resolve problems and they have to see that the execution of the projects are completed efficiently and effectively. Why do I say efficiently and effectively? Efficiently is to have quality connection. It is no reason to have everyone to have a connection and without any uh, outcome. If there is just a connection which is not giving good result or uh, if you see that digitalization is not helping 
the number of people, then it is not effective. Efficiently is the quality of the network. If the quality of the network is good and consistent, then that will bring in efficiency. So, practicing good governance literally happens or starts from the district collector. They also play a very important role as far as the budgeting is concerned. So, one of the challenges of the district collector uh, is the gap between the project implementation and also planning of the project. So, when you see the district collector is not connecting or bridging the gap, then you see that the programs fail. But when you see that when the district collector plays an important role till there is efficient uh, outcome, then you see the outcome plays a very important role. So, mean come to end. If there is a means, then the mean should be efficient. The end will give the result and the result will show that the program is effectively or efficiently done. So, the role of the district collector starts from the planning strategizing period till the implementation period and that has been a challenge. Of late you see that the role of the district collector becoming prominent because they come to the grassroots level or they come to the ground level to see whether it is efficiently completed and accountability becomes an important aspect. So, budgeting is an another significant role which the district collector plays and it is important the district collector is aware of the budget so that it does not go overboard. So, estimating and budgeting plays an important role. The district collector is also responsible for law and order maintenance of the land, the building as far as the land reforms is concerned or as far as environmental protection is concerned. So, legally they have to be aware what the cause and the pros and the cons are. So, if the district collector is not aware of a particular city of the consequences, the strengths or challenges, a SWOT analysis has to be done. And after the SWOT analysis, a planning has to be done based on the strengths and also the weakness of that particular city and also see what the threats might be. Now, if they are starting a project like for example, the Kudam Kulam project started near Tirnam Valley and there was a lot of hue and cry. So, the district collector did a survey on that area to see what will be the impact of the Kudam Kulam power project. It was realized that because of this power project, energy could come. Uh, in fact, electricity would be coming to many of the farmers and also nearby uh, districts. In fact, the whole of Tamil Nadu will be ben benefited because of the Kodam Kulam project. So, a team of experts came and they surveyed the whole place with of course, the scientists had done a survey to study also the impact of the power project. They found that the, having a second power project would be very good for the whole state. And definitely this case study shows that the role of the district collector again plays an important role in convincing the community. The local community was not convinced about having a project which might have an impact on their employment or might have an impact on their environment or might have an impact on their surroundings and they might be displaced. But then the role of the district collector came uh, evidently because they were able to convince the local community by saying that this would actually encourage more employment and also help the whole of the state and generate more energy and electricity. In fact, it will also help the farmers because if you see the current uh, day, you have farmers getting free electricity so that they can be encouraged to get into agriculture and farming. Now, if you see the contribution of the district collector also comes along with the role it plays to coordinate with various stakeholders. The district collector can act as a liaison between various stakeholders involved in urban development. It includes local authorities, community groups and private developers. By facilitating communication and collaboration between these two groups, 
the district collector can help ensure that urban development is aligned with the needs and priorities of the community. And it is important that the role of the civil society is significant and the role of the members of the state, the government and also in fact uh, there are many officers of the department in various agencies that need to be involved and so there is more responsibility and accountability as far as the role of any development project is. So it doesn't come down to the fact that the district collector has one important role but also a group of stakeholders are behind the district collector. So we need to understand that the district collector does not just manage one part or the whole part. In fact, he is managed with the help of a lot of stakeholders. If you take in a disaster management program, the district collector is responsible for any disaster that is happening in that particular state, especially if there is a drought or if there is a flood or if there is an earthquake or if there is a calamity, if there is a terrorist attack, a war zone, then the district collector has to intervene and step by step be very practical to get the citizens involved and get the confidence of the citizen to resolve such issues. If you see in Uttarakhand, there is landslides and there is always constant problems because there are many tourists. Tourists is a source of income for that particular region and when there are landslides and flash floods, then it is causing the life of the people. So the district collector has to have plans of the, uh, disaster management. In fact, they would have disaster management units for mitigation, for uh, disaster management, for response, for recovery and also for preparedness. Now if they have the whole cycle mentally prepared and then they would be prepared for any kind of disaster. If you see if there is proper mitigation in case of the landslide, then there will be lot of helplines because they can predict that during a particular season where the tourist is increasing, then uh, definitely the possibility of other eco problems. So preparedness is important and also when there is preparedness, there is also a response if there is calamity. When there is a response to the calamity, there should also be a recovery period and the recovery period will be the gap when they can actually come back to recover and also resolve the whole disaster. So disaster management cycle should be part of the plan or the engagement as far as the district collector is concerned. Now if you see how terrorist attacks in Mumbai was a sudden attack and uh, the district collector would have to be uh, planned or prepared and also should be efficient enough to understand the situation and see that safety of the people is a priority and is important. So this particular issue if you take as far as terrorist is concerned or earthquake is concerned is something which is not predicted but disaster management will make the whole unit be prepared at any given situation and imagine with the population in the cities especially in India it needs to realize that disaster management is an important aspect as far as the role of the district collector is concerned. The district collector plays a very important role in urban areas especially with jurisdiction with land reforms land papers because we see that many uh, land registrations has been incomplete. So by working with various stakeholders and overseeing the plans and implementation of the and development projects, the district collector can help create a livable and resilient urban environment with their communities. So if you see the district collector, the role is not only for law and order maintenance, environment protection, but also revenue administration and development administration, development at the grassroots level. Implementation should be done efficiently. So if you see in any urban development program, if you see the success of the urban development program also reflects the good work of the district collector. 
and it has to be understood that the district collector plays a significant role as far as urban development is concerned. If there is development in the particular city, it also it needs to realize that the role of the district collector is significant and has played an important role of accountability and responsibility to make that urban area very self-sufficient and capable in India to have good district collectors and also experienced district collectors. We have seen many good district collectors doing excellent work, outstanding contribution, very resilient, being silent workers, I would say would be one of the unsung heroes of the government and also of the community who is saving the community. If we are having a good night's sleep, I think that community should thank the district collector because he only not only really takes care of the revenue but also is taking care of the law and order of that particular area and it becomes a very important aspect which we should be all aware of that the district collector is not a simple man's job but an incredible job. Thank you very much.